Alright, I think I'm going to actually take a little bit of a break because during that cutscene where we learned the Oath to Order, the nostalgic for this game actually hit me a bit hard. And like, I started tearing up from it. Wow, that was a lot of nostalgic. And. Now we're going to go ahead and rescue the DQ Princess who's happy to see us so we can rescue her. And I don't think I'm going to take that break because I just want to keep playing through this. <laughs> It's actually the first time I ever started tearing up in the middle of a let's play. And yes, I am serious. <laughs> so we need to get the DQ Princess back to the DQ Palace as quickly as possible. And so, the only thing we can actually use is an empty bottle. So let's put the DQ Princess in the bottle <laughs> and hurry back to the DQ Shrine. And also, with every temple you beat, the place around you gets restored back to a more peaceful place. Ugh. And I'm looking around for the fairy fountain, which should be around here somewhere. So, I'm trying to look for it so we can take all these fairies back. Uh, hmm, yeah, there we go, that's where I need to be, up there, not, yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to have, couldn't I just use the Song of Soaring? Yeah, I can just use the Song of Soaring. Let's see, the Song of Soren should be... Left... <laughs> Song of... Soaring. I like Link's facial expression right there. He's, it looks like he just doesn't, doesn't care. Okay, down, right... Down, right, up, there we go. It would fall. Since I don't feel like just taking the long way, I'm just warping there. Yeah, it's a bit lazy, but it saves a few minutes. Yeah, here we go. I'm supposed to get I'm supposed to go all the way over there. DQ mask. Also, 
Another thing that resets whenever you save or go back in time is your stray fairies and everything else in the temples. So you can technically redo every temple over again without starting a new game. And we have rescued the fairy of the the great fairy of the swamp. So, hooray. The great fairy of power. With this new sword technique. Should have been Young Link for this and not DQ Link. Mastered spin attack. So we can do the super spin attack now. And along with doing the super spin attack, compared to Ocarina of Time, we can do the full thing just like that. Which is a simple spin instead of the mini spin. Alright, so. Okay, I just need to find my way back to Woodfall. If I can find some good ground, I'm just going to go ahead and warp again. Get down, right up, or down, left up. Southern... No, that's too far away. So I'm going to manually go all the way back. Yeah, it's just over there. Shouldn't be that difficult to just swim back. Swim back... backwards. I'm pressing the B button. So many... uses of the letter B. going an extremely long distance when there could actually be a shortcut I could take. <laughs> it's like raining. And it's fearful sp spider house. I will. I'll do that some other time, but for now I'm just trying to return the princess. This is the wrong direction. Alright. Yeah, this is the wrong direction. I could have just warped here. Ah. I think using DQ Link would actually go faster. I'm going to go ahead and use DQ Link to get over there. Yeah, using DQ Link is definitely faster. Yeah, this is going to be a long game. Okay, that's good enough. I'm going to go ahead and just go back by swimming. We've been playing for 49 minutes. I think we're going. To, I think I'm going to stop at about an hour again. All right, DQ Palace. in any areas other than the normal chamber. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so we need to return the princess. By bottle transportation. Oh wow, I just completely skipped the text box. The L targeting was kind of messed up right there too. Here, take your princess. I don't want her in my castle. So we just rescued that, and so we can go to the right of the DQ Palace. Run DQ Link. Or walk. And here we go, here's a sign. DQ Shrine. I don't want to read it a second time. Alright. Normally there would be something blocking this. Anyway, we are at the Diku Shrine now. This is optional, by the way. We could just be going to that mountain. We need to race, or just follow, this DQ. Like the Nampy race from Ocarina of Time. So many similarities, and I like pointing them out. dead end. Ah. You kind of... Kind of lost my sense of direction right there. Yeah. I messed up. Did, does that really take a whole heart? Man. Okay, let's try following him right this time. And since we're DQ Link, none of these DQ shrubs are attacking us, so that's good. Alright, here we go. Going the right <clears throat> going the right way. Whoa. Okay, I need to be normal link for this. This reminds me of Super Mario sixty four. I do not really remember this. 
Okay, follow the rubies. Go. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, I made it. What the? Oh, I remember this part. Those DD shops are kind of cute. I want one as a pet. <laughs> Holy crap. What the heck? Okay, did I do it? What the? Wow, this is so long. I have no idea if I'm going the right way or not. Go! Jump! 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 And there. Please tell me I'm going the right way. This is just actually difficult without a map. Without a map it, it'd be a lot easier. But at least we did it. Well done. We got our second mask, the mask of sense. Mask heightens your sense of smell. So we have a strange mask. Reminded of my son who left home. Wait a minute, is this son probably that DQ shrub we saw at the beginning of the game? All right. That was a time waster. So I'm going to try finding a save point. Somewhere, so I can save or a quick save point because I'm totally abusing the memory card extra file thing on this game. I think I'm going to go ahead and go back to Clock Town. Okay, down right up or down left up. Just go ahead and go back to Clock Town. South Clock Town. Actually, there's one last thing I want to do before I actually stop playing. I want to make sure that I don't forget to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and rescue the stray fairy here and go back to the fairy fountain as Young Link. And I will explain that later. There's still a bunch more little side quest things that I want to do before actually going to the... I think I'll just go ahead and get them out of the way. But I'm going to go ahead and play the Bombers game, Hide and Go Seek game again, just to, just to get that out of the way as well. So much slowdown, but I can tolerate it perfectly fine. Link just faded away. 
Now this right here, there's a heart piece in that tree. Just jump up here. Jump. 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 And jump. There we go. Can I cut Tingle's balloon in half with my sword? No. Yeah, I'll go ahead and deliver the Stray Fairy and then get the Bomber's Notebook. Wow, there's so many things I want to do before I stop playing. Oh yeah, I can only do this third thing on the first day. I have to make sure to do it on the order. It requires an order, which I'll explain later. At all. So we got the Great Fairy of Magic, and so she's actually giving us a new mask. At least I think she's giving us a new, a new mask. Wow, I just completely skipped all that text. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. We got the Great Fairy Mask, which can help us get stray fairies. Alright, so there's one thing out of the way. And then the Bombers game again. And then I'll be done. How did that not hit? Here we go, I'm a kid again. Let me play your stupid hide and go seek game. Here we go, four left. Oops. There we go. No, oh, get back here. Wow, this is kind of stupid. Playing hide and go seek in the rain while there's a big moon that's about to crash down and destroy all life in this area. And we're not even doing anything about it. We're playing hide and seek. Oh yeah, I'm right next to the bank so I can deposit my rubies. Don't go over there. Good. Stay in the playing zone. Come on. I have you... No, I... Okay. Wow. <laughs> Finally. Let's go ahead and deposit all my rubies. We deposit 26 rubies before, but now we're going to go ahead and deposit 9. 9. There we go. I like depositing rupees. You get those two kids. And these people are juggling. Oh yeah, there's extra rubies over here we can go ahead and already get. So there'll be more rubies. Controller rumble. There we go, just one more. And before I rescue that kid, or why don't darn it Zelda lo Zelda game logic where everything you feel like you're having a rescue? Just come over here, jump, jump, just keep jumping, and we can play these 
that shooting game, the swamp area, again. Or actually play it. Didn't mean to roll into that. We get a silver ruby, which is 100 rubies. And since we can go back in time, we can technically get that 100, return back in time, get it again, deposit it, and just keep doing that, and you'll have a full bank in no time. There we go. Finally got you. Give me that book. We got the Bomber's Notebook. It allows you to keep track of people's schedules. <laughs> Quest down the screen, highlight it, and press A to read it. Fungible people, their names, picture, only 20 people will fit in your book. Promise to help them. Like promises with promise stickers, never be late with fulfilling your promise. Whenever you solve so much problem, it makes you happy. So a happy sticker will be added to your book. No removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of people until everyone is happy. Don't forget the rules. Those are rules. I already know the secret code. It's four three five one two. And there we go. We'll go ahead and show this off. We completed one and there's 20 others. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there was actually 20. But now that that's taken care of, let's save our game so we can play this another time because there are <clears throat> other things I want to do besides play Zelda. Save your progress. Alright, that was fun. This has been 80 to 10 dogs let's playing The Legend of Zelda, The Majora's Mask. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time for more.